Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with another type of length check in JavaScript. So let's get right into it. Today we are going to be checking if the size of a string is not equal to a size. If the size is not equal to the specified size, it's true, otherwise it's false. So we do function length check, input comma size. It's a function, we're going to call it length check. We're going to take in two parameters, the string we want to check and the size we don't want that string to be. Then we do return input.length is not equal to size. So let's say we have the name Bill and we don't want it to be four characters long. We'll be checking if four is not equal to four. Now since four is actually equal to four, this not equal statement becomes a false overall. And therefore we return a false because we don't want it to be four, but Bill is four characters long. However, let's say we did max. Well, that's three characters long. And since three is not equal to four, this becomes a true and therefore our name or our input is valid. I'm going to put this function in a console log statement, but you can do whatever you want with it. This is going to work on your server, your website, your Unity game, whatever you are making. I'm just putting in the console log because it's quicker to show what's going on. And so we do length check, which is the name of our function. We then put in a name that we want to check or a string of any kind. And then we put in a size we don't want it to be. I have also added a keep console open function. This just stops the console from closing when it's finished doing what it's doing. You don't need this, but if you want to add it, you can. There'll be an eye up in the corner explaining what it does, but this has nothing to do with the length check. So with all that, let's hit play. And it's false because name and four, well, there's a match. That's four characters long. But if we put it to name one, two, three, four, well, it's now true because eight, this is, has a length of eight and eight is not equal to four, so it's valid. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more JavaScript tutorials.